Hello everyone, welcome to SFTC Facts. I have created this video especially for all the students out there or the people who want to migrate to Salesforce technology and are still not aware about what Salesforce is and what are the career opportunities in Salesforce. So if we talk about Salesforce term in general, so Salesforce means two things. First thing is Salesforce is a company which provides cloud based solution to other businesses. This company was founded back in 1999 by Mark Benioff and Parker Harris. Second thing is Salesforce is an application as well which is hosted on Lightning platform. So this application is powerful enough to handle all kind of business needs. So it doesn't matter if you are running a sales business or service business or marketing business or maybe an e-commerce business. Salesforce application can handle your business and can match your business needs and give you the cloud based solution. So by cloud based solution I mean you don't need your own infrastructure, you don't need your security team, you don't even need to install any kind of software on your own network. It's all being governed by the Salesforce and you just need a Salesforce license to use their services. That means Salesforce will give you their own infrastructure, their own security standards and their own network to run your business. Now Salesforce is just B2B models. So by B2B model, I mean business to business. That means it is being used by other businesses. So that means there are other organizations who use Salesforce to run their businesses. It includes Google, Apple, Facebook, and they handle their day-to-day -day activities in Salesforce. That includes generating new leads, providing support to their own product, and also running their marketing campaign and all other stuff. And obviously, it's not free. How you can use Salesforce services? So Salesforce uses subscription model that means you need to subscribe to Salesforce services in order to use it. You need to purchase Salesforce licenses to use some kind of services. There are a lot of licenses in Salesforce which provides different functionalities and which solves different business purposes. So a business does not need to purchase all those licenses, you just need to purchase those licenses which are helpful to run your business. As long as you have Salesforce licenses, you can keep using their services. And Salesforce has its own tools to fasten the process to migrate your own application, your in-house application to Salesforce as well. That means you can also migrate to Salesforce from your in-house application. Now let's talk about Salesforce application. A Salesforce application is a highly customizable application which you can customize just by point and click to suit your business needs. So that means you can create certain tasks or you can create certain workflows, process builders or approval processes Within Salesforce, you can manage your users, you can manage the security model, all those stuff just by point and click. You don't need any kind of code to do that stuff. But there are scenarios where your business has unique requirement or a complex requirement which cannot be done just by point and click. So to handle those requirements, you can implement programmatic solutions in Salesforce as well. So Apex is a server-side language which you can use to interact with Salesforce backend and also to customize or to fulfill your complex business requirements. It's very very similar to Java technology. So all of you who are aware about Java technology, I don't think you will face any kind of problem to learn Apex. It's very easy to learn and also it's very easy to code in Apex as well. So on the UI layer, Salesforce uses Visual Force page or Lightning components to create the UI as per your business needs. And also Salesforce has out of the box UI layer as well for each and every object or the table you will create in Salesforce. Now the most interesting part, what are the job opportunities in Salesforce and what are the job roles that you can get in Salesforce technology. So if I want to give an overview of all the job roles, I can categorize these job roles in four major categories. The first is Salesforce Administrator. So a Salesforce Admin is someone who knows Salesforce point and click methods. That means an admin knows how to modify the existing application how to handle the user provisioning, how to create point and click solutions like workflows, process builders, approval processes and maybe visual flows and that stuff and admin should also be aware about the security mechanism which is there in Salesforce. So admin is someone who just uses point and click methods to solve your business needs. The second job role uh, which I can think of and which is highly popular in India especially is Salesforce developer role. A Salesforce developer is someone who can leverage Apex or maybe Visual Force page and Lightning component to code in Salesforce to meet your complex business requirements. So they have to code in Salesforce to deliver a business solution. According to me, a developer should also know the admin stuff so that they will be aware like what are the functionalities 
can easily be achieved by point and click method for which they don't even have to write the code. The third job category that I can think of is Salesforce Consultant. So a Salesforce Consultant is someone who knows about the Salesforce application. So he should know what kind of business requirement can be fulfilled by what kind of solution. That means if I get a requirement as a Salesforce Consultant, I should know like this requirement can be fulfilled by a point and click method or this requirement can be fulfilled by a development solution. Now the best one in Salesforce technology is Salesforce Architect. So Salesforce Architect is someone who will help you to design your business solution from the scratch. So if you are migrating your in-house application to Salesforce, you need a Salesforce Architect to design the solution for you so that your application in Salesforce can be scalable and also robust at the very same time. So Salesforce Architect, they have in-depth knowledge of Salesforce technology, they have in-depth knowledge of Salesforce platform and how it interacts with other platform as well. They also have in-depth uh, knowledge of all the security mechanism, all the integration stuff in Salesforce and all the tools that Salesforce provides and how you can leverage those tools in your business model. Now let's talk about the career opportunities in Salesforce technology in India or all over the world. So if you read the market, you will know that Salesforce technology is one of the most popular technology nowadays and it has a bright future ahead as well because Salesforce is not only a CRM anymore, it has all different clouds to meet all kind of business needs. Whether it is health cloud, commerce cloud, integration cloud, sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud and all other stuff. Everything is there in Salesforce and Salesforce is powerful enough to handle all those business needs. So job opportunities in Salesforce are getting increased day by day. And one more thing that you keep in mind this, as per the market standards, Salesforce administrator or developer or consultant or architects are paid well than other technologies. Now the last question, from where I can learn Salesforce? So there are plenty of courses available online to learn Salesforce. However, I would recommend you to not to pay anything to learn Salesforce. Salesforce already has a very powerful learning platform which we call trailhead.com which has everything that you need to start your Salesforce journey from basic to the very advanced level. So trailhead has each and every article based on your career aspirations that means if you want to go for Salesforce admin, if you want to become a Salesforce administrator, they have the trails from very basic to the advanced admin. If you want to become a Salesforce developer, they have the trails to guide you from the Salesforce development from the very basic to the advanced level. So use trailhead.com to learn Salesforce. Apart from that, obviously you can use my channel sfdcfx.com to learn all the Salesforce fundamentals. And with this, I want to announce a new initiative of mine, uh, which I would like to call Salesforce for Absolute Beginners. So again, this is for all the students out there and all the people who want to migrate to Salesforce technology. I'll be conducting live sessions on Salesforce technology from very basic to the advanced level that means we'll be covering basics of Salesforce and then all the Salesforce administrator stuff and then all the Salesforce development stuff as well throughout a series of videos which can be like 20 to 25 videos and these will be live sessions hosted on the YouTube platform itself. So if you want to get further notification on these sessions, I'll create an article on my blog sfdcfx.com and I'll leave a link in the description of this video. So you can just go to that link and you can RSVP yourself for these sessions. And also I would request you to share this video with all your Salesforce network, all your student network and the people who wants to migrate to Salesforce technology so that they can be aware about these sessions and they can also RSVP themselves to learn Salesforce from the very basic to the advanced level. And in the end, I also ask you to subscribe to this channel to get further notification on all the upcoming videos and the live session that I do.